Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This is a special tarot reading session for Leo. This is for you. This is the next one for hours. Love connection, love intuitive advice, and general situationship energy reading for Leo friends out there. I hope you're well. What can I get for Leo, please? What is the message for Leo, okay? Before I start, Leo, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, check out the description box below because in there, you'll find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. Check out my online store. Um, there, there are actually a total of three, okay, three new products that we have uploaded um, it's free shipping worldwide. It comes with a free reading from me. So type your question, type your manifestation, and I will I will get back to you with your free reading, okay? And also, Leo, if you're interested to watch um, the all of the videos that we have uploaded for the month of January 2021, we have created a playlist, okay? A one-stop link to be able to access and watch all of the videos for um, January 2021 to date. It is down the description box below. There is one there, which I recommend if you are a Leo and a single, ready to mingle, and you're looking for a new love opportunity. Um, yeah, check out that video because you might pick up more intuitive message, okay? So this is you, Leo. Let's look at what's coming towards you. What's the message for you over the next 24 hours, all right? This will include love and general situationship energy reading, okay? So um the first card on you know the first on the first row first card is the moon card in upright position the queen of wands you could be dealing with a cancer a female cancer for some of you okay um you've got the moon card in upright position the queen of wands the eight of wands the hangman wow this person is making you wait all right this is hang hanging up in the air this is a situation where it is making you feel frustrated. It is making you feel waiting in vain. <laughs> um, sorry, my camera is moving. Let me just move this here. Okay, sorry, Dio. Just um, it is quite a sorry. It is quite a complex. It it is a complicated situation. It's feeling lost, Leo, because you don't know what's next. Uh, this person is not talking, but you feel intuitively that they're thinking about you. Actually, both sides. Look at that. It could be a recent breakup. It could be a recent breakup, a recent separation, or a love situation that has no ending yet. It's undefined. It's unknown. And it's the longer you guys do not talk, the longer the longer you don't guys don't talk, the more um the more you find it confusing and temperamental. Because if you look at you and this person, you still long for each other, like with you. You're still in parallel. Maybe your neighbor or you're close by. There's a feeling that you feel close but far. Um, intuitively in your dreams energetically you feel like you're so close to each other or you're still drawn to their energy and vice versa there's there there is a ping back you know there is an energy return your person is manifesting you and so you are but none of you is making a move none of you is taking a risk to call to text or you could you could still be talking to one another but not in eye to eye aloofness because the queen of wands for, for some of you, you're not friends. You you had a fight. You break up. Messy, messy situation. Eight of Wands. That's why Eight of Wands in reverse. No communication. No no step forward. The hangman. It's stuck. It, it is actually stuck. What's more, what is more frustrating is that you know for yourself and so as this person that this is, there's no ending it. This is unfinished business. And you still think of each, each other. What's strong in these four cards is that up to date, you know, uh, moving forward. And up until recently, this person is thinking about you heavily. Heavy thinking about, heavy, heavy feeling, you know, thinking of you, of, of reminiscing memory lane. The thoughts of you and each other is all over. 
you're missing each other there's pain there is regret there's ego it's it's a combination of emotions and feelings and it's um it's a wave of emotion it's it's a wave today they miss you tomorrow you probably remember how you guys break up separated or how you exchange verbal communication of you know not so good words so it's it's still it's still very uneasy there is a drive to approach but that drive to approach to text to call it's been covered by um hate betrayal pain you know or pride okay not just from them but you but one thing is for sure when they close their eyes and when they sleep they think of your face it gives them both bitter and sweet memory and feeling okay so um i think they will be sitting in this energy and so you are until such time that one of you will break you know will break their silence okay it's it's quite far from there yet but i'd see it coming one of you will break their silence um okay so that's the first reading the second reading is that you've got the ace of pentacles in reverse the ten of pentacles wow this is interesting the devil card the ten of swords this seems to be a reading the message in the reading for today for for the second row is that ten of swords the devil card you 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 have been involved it could be a capricorn a gemini libra aquarius a Taurus Virgo energy, someone who has earth sign, someone who has an air sign in their chart. Um, you have been, you have reached kind of, you've reached the climax. You have reached a point of you and this person where we have, you know, ten of swords. This is the worst. The worst is over. So what's next? Okay. The worst is over. Um... The problem, the issue, it has arise. All of those underground feelings, those frustration, those those underground feelings and frustration, it all came out to the surface. So the worst is over. Okay, ten of pentacles, the ace of pentacles. They're still waiting for you. You're still waiting for them. There's still an interest to stay, to fight, to 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 save this, because this is where this is a part of the. This is where. The vibe I'm getting in, in is here. It's what's next. You know, I, I know all the worst now. So can I suck it up and move on? So this is where you in person is sitting. It's you know the worst. You know their background. You know the feeling. You know, and they know you vice versa. It's all out. It's all up. It's, it's all out in the table. Whatever it is that's hidden. The argument. You know everything now of the worst. So what is next? This is where your person is processing that, okay? They're staying in the energy of connecting or thinking about you, and so you are, because you're processing, can I suck it up, this imperfection that Leo and I have? Can I suck it up? Can I stay? Can I forget this? Can I forgive this? So, Ten of Pentacles is here. Um, it's pending, Ace of Pentacles, the renewal between the two of you. It's pending, but you have... You and this person is ready, like maturity, stability, you're both ready for a relationship. Uh, maturity and stability, you guys can really work it out. It's it's more of the emotions, okay? It's more of the emotions that needs to be drained, and then forgiven, and then moving on. But when it comes to readiness, you know, this Ace of Pentacles is just waiting for you to activate it, and so is this person. Ten of Pentacles, you know... Time, effort, stability, stability, and being available, getting married. That's that that's not hard for this person. It's more of the emotional side and impulsiveness. Okay? So wait. I'm really getting that, you know, I'm seeing you waiting and so they are. Um January, it's not going to be ready. 10 weeks from now, you might get an improvement, some sort of result, some sort of reply, response, an upgrade. <clears throat> Something improve, okay? You've got to wait. You've got to try. And um, because <clears throat> for some of you, there is a very new-ish energy, a new beginning that could come along, but you're still focused to this person. 
I mean, I'm getting like before you, before a new person comes up, because for some of you, there will, you know, within the 10 weeks period, if you try to, if you try to find a distraction, you can find a distraction. But when you are enjoying the distraction in this real deal, this person of a strong interest to you comes back or you had an opportunity with them, um, it might confuse you. So there's still an event happening between the two of you. are still interlinked for some energetic reason you are. Okay, there is a strong vibe that you would wait and so they are. Okay, so... um. Yep, so the third reading is about a situationship, general situationship. There's going to be a call that you would receive um, in the coming weeks, all right? Um, between now up and seven weeks from now, you will receive a call. It is a surprise call from someone, from somebody. It's not a love interest, but it, it is a surprising call. It is a good call. It's a call out. It could be a recognition for some of you. And um, they will give you a vacation. It will slow you down because for some of you, it's a good, it's, it looks like it, Um, you know, the, the, the chariot card, you would stop and replay and replay the message or uh, you're, you're, you're so busy when you hear this call or this news, it would, you would stop by or you would stop and cherish and really, really, um, really listen to it really wonder and like for you it's like a juicy call uh, but it's called cool. there is from now onwards there's a you know within seven weeks from now there's gonna be a call an interesting call a good news call a call that you can say no a call that it might end up a missed call and then you will look at the message you will look at the number but it's something that would that make you that make you stop in the middle of whatever you're doing. You'll stop to answer the call or to rejoice, to celebrate about this call, about this news. It's a good call. And then um, the the other ones, Queen of Cups, the the Three of Wands. <clears throat> okay, you are waiting for a, a result. I'm really getting like it could be. A medical result um three of wands queen of cups you're quite emotional when you receive this message from someone from somebody it's related to health um i don't know maybe someone is pregnant it could be or it, it it's something to do with heart for some of you it could be a female friend who may have some I don't know, emotional trauma and it's affecting their heartbeat, something like that. Um, it could be you, hopefully not, but it could be it could be someone you know, a heart. There's a heart, there's a medical thing connected to you female. They need a TLC. Whoever this is, if it's you, if it's them, take care of your health. They, care. they need, someone needs an emotional support, okay? So I don't want to dwell with that because it's health. It's not a health scary, scary, but... It's something to work on. It's something to look after too. It's preventative. All right. So yeah, I'm seeing three, three, three. So don't panic. It's like preventative. Prevent it from getting worse. So this is you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I hope you liked the reading. If you do, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell. And I'll see you soon again, guys. Bye-bye.